Hi everyone, we're going to talk about area and uh, we have the included angle of the sides of a constant length S of an isosceles triangle is uh, theta and we want to prove that the area of the triangle is given by uh, one half sine squared sine of theta equals area. Now after that, basically uh, this, we're going to um, just plug in our pi over 6 for theta and pi over 3 of theta and derivative of theta with respect to time is going to be one half radians per minute. Okay, radians per minute. And then we're going to explain why it's not constant even though uh, derivative of theta with respect to t is constant. The, the main one right here is going to be uh, this A. So we're going to start with that. And I drew an isosceles, isosceles right triangle. And I'm going to um, show that sine of theta, we know that sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. But since we're only using half of this, we're going to do sine of theta over 2 equals opposite, which is one half of our base over our s. Now, when you cross multiply, you're going to get um, base equals 2s sine of theta over 2. All right, now let's do cosine. So cosine of theta, and since we only have half of theta, because we split this in half, we're going to divide it by 2, equals um, basically height over your side. And when you cross multiply and solve for h, you get h equals side times cosine of theta over 2. Now, we have our h and we have our b. So our area equals 1 half base, which is 2 sine 2s times sine of theta over 2 and our height is going to be side times uh, cosine of theta over 2. And when you simplify this, you're going to get, um, oh, let's see, you're going to get side squared, I'm going to pull out the S's, side squared over 2 times 2 cosine of theta over 2 times cosine of theta over 2. This is your double identity, your double uh, identity for sine. So when I pull out the 2, all I'm going to get is, since these are both 2's, I'm just going to get sine squared over 2 times sine of theta. Remember, sine of 2 theta equals 2, this is your double angle, let me move it over here, sine of 2 theta equals uh, 2 sine of theta cosine of theta, so I'm just using this format and simplifying here, okay? Now, the next part we have to do is just to evaluate. So, I have um, my area equals sine squared over 2 times sine of theta. Now, I'm going to take the derivative of the area with respect to time. So, this is going to be uh, the product rule. 
So I write m down as the sine squared over 2 times cosine of theta time plus, sorry, um, oh, times uh, the derivative, they already gave you the derivative of theta with respect to time. And they gave that to you as derivative of theta with respect to time equals one half radians per minute. So the next thing I'm going to do is evaluate when theta equals pi over 6 then we're going to get derivative of the area with respect to time equals sine squared over 2 times cosine of pi over 6 and this equals um, sine squared over 2 um, times the derivative of theta with respect to time keep forgetting and cosine of pi over 6 is square root of 3 over 2. Um, this equals 1 half. So the answer is going to be square root of 3 um, s squared over 8. And then we want to do it when theta equals pi over 3. So derivative of the area with respect to time equals side squared um, over 2 times cosine of pi over 3 times the derivative of theta over with respect to time. So this is going to be side squared over 2 and this is uh, cosine of pi over 3 is 1 half and derivative of theta is 1 half so our answer is going to be um, side squared over 8. And that's all. Oh, we have to um, explain the second part. And basically, it means if derivative of theta with respect to time is constant, then the derivative of the area with respect to time is proportional to cosine of theta because that's what we were using here. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.